All right, guys, so we are back for our second episode. As you saw on the previous one, Chloe is some kind of a naughty girl. Because we stole money, we had arguments. At least we met a cool girl. She helped us escape. And her name is Rachel Amber. She is the girl that disappears in Life is Strange, the original one. Let's see what happens next. Hope you enjoy. So yeah, remember, we arrived here last night after partying so hard. So we are in her room. And since it's a realistic game, it's a total mess. <laughs> Daily rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Oh, it's a reference to Max, the girl that we play in the first one. So yeah, as a throwback, Max moved to a different city. And in the future, she will come back to study there. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Um, that's a bit emotional. Because in the first episode, we discovered that her dad died in a car crash. Max made me this mix CD years ago. I gotta, I gotta have it somewhere. See, that's this one. Who? What photo? <laughs> Victoria Chase commented on a photo you were tagged in. And it's from last night, I guess. So Victoria Chase is like a bitch, a typical bitch. <laughs> Victoria saying, Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering when she was. And then burn, and then, oh no, I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. <laughs> sure, he didn't mean it like that. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. All right, so we can choose. There's the Raven. It's not bad. So there's the one with Firewalk. Yes, I forget like this one. Of Let's keep the hot dog man. <laughs> a fantasy poster. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid. But then all the unicorns died. Oh, that's very sad. So here, if we, if we want, we can tear it down. It's like a symbol of our imagination. We won't tear it down. We still believe. All right, so she has like a boyfriend called Elliot. They have their two months bursary. Good to know. Can't leave without my vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. Shit. Where's my phone? Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. This house bring us many memories when we were playing Max Caulfield. I remember that in this room there was a bird right there. And our mission was to let him escape. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. Well, we have a decision here. Let's place it on the dresser. Because that's where it should be. You don't be. deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Fuck you, Arcadia Pawn. Wait, mom's selling her engagement ring? Her mom is working like all day. She, they don't have much money. It's hard for a single mom to raise her daughter. Ah, mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. It's not good to discover that. <laughs> Oh. All right. Um. So Chloe is definitely trying to to reach her, but Max seems always busy. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? <laughs> no more Typical phone mums phone. asking yeah. us to bring everything that from really upstairs. Want to hurry. Look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. <laughs> you never. <laughs> Saw so it's traumatizing. Condoms. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me. So nobody's fault, really. A wildfire warning. Okay, that can be important in the future. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick <laughs> inserted into my butt. <laughs> Thank you. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. We're in trouble, guys. You can just say text. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Alright, let's talk about David one more time, since we hate him. 
You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe, who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Doing Fine, keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Yeah, she pays a lot for our studies. As, as you can see, it's not like we hate David. It's just that we miss our dad. It's logical. And we want no one to replace him. So we feel a bit betrayed about that. Maybe David could help since he's living there, literally. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. The choices we have here are interesting. So we could talk about her dad or David. If we talk about David, she won't understand that we miss dad. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. He takes you to school today. Very funny. Ooh. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. All right, so that's a very important decision here. In the end of the first chapter, this guy, David, is a good guy, actually. And we're clearly angry at him because he's replacing our dad. She wants us to go with David so that we could talk to each other. Maybe she convinced him herself to drive us there. So let's be understanding. It will be better for the future, I guess. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm. But we're trying. Oh, oh wow, well, that's not I good. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You know, not your stuff. <laughs> we're attacking you too. Your own time. It's in the toolbox. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? <laughs> Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. You could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. He's trying to. All right. So fist bump or no fist bump? Just for mom, we're gonna do it. Fine, whatever. You're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. It's going a bit too far. Putting his toolbox in front of our dad's. You will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. Since he talked about our dad, we're gonna shut this down. What's clear is fuck you. Language. French is a language. Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. Your mother... Breaking her heart. You're not my You're father. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. That's enough. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and mm. we are better united than divided. Your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. Ignoring her command. Drinking. It's not a bad guy. Use. But we're pissed off. It's making everything harder for her. Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Country music? Oh, that's a memory. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my friend. Get on the field train. See, so that's surreal. All right, let's talk to our dad. Dad, turn it up. The field train. Oh no, that's the car crash.
Oh, that's brutal. Let's say thanks since we promised our mom. Shit. Thanks. We tried, guys. We tried our best there. And now Hello, comes Orcadia Bay with Blackwell. Oh, and that's our boyfriend. Hey, Chloe. So, how about the Tempest? Do you want to go together tomorrow? Let's say maybe. So, yeah, about her love life. I guess we gotta choose between this guy and Rachel Ember. Because in the first one, we understand that she likes girls too. Do not walk on the stage. <laughs> Still going. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. <laughs> the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. Shit. Do I'm in I have trouble. to initiate a search of your person no. to establish the veracity of Holy these shit. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. We don't want to get in trouble. We still want to go to class because our mom pays for it. So let's say fine. All right, sir. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. She's very popular. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass. Chloe, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? I guess we can maybe save some people's lives because there's going to be a wide fire soon, I guess. So. Let's sign it. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Oh, look who we got here. Victoria Chase. It's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. What's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging her anything. I figure if she's hanging she out wants with to you, become friends with her just because she's popular. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Exactly. Gotcha. Oh God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. So that made me angry. So I'm gonna sabotage her homework since I'm a bad girl. I'm sorry, Victoria. I, I finished didn't... the assignment. Want some help? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Perfect. <laughs> no problem. Did you get it? It's like F-U-C-K. <laughs> hey, Skip. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? W would you maybe want to hear it? I'm sure thing. Yeah, okay. Alright guys, so that's with this music that I'm gonna stop the second video. Learn more about Chloe's family, about her mom working all day, having problems, money, her stepdad, David, despises, the loss of her father. I guess everyone knows about Rachel Ember and me partying last night, which is kind of a good thing, I guess. So see you guys soon for the third episode. Say we got rich in